Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. All right, welcome back everyone. Before I get into your forecast, I wanted to show this viewer photo again right quick. We had this beautiful sunrise yesterday morning. One of our viewers captured this over the Atchafalaya River. Thank you so much, Dedrick Charles, for sending in this great picture. And if you want to send in a beautiful weather picture to me, you can reach me on Facebook, Twitter, and email. And that information is right there on your screen. But now moving forward, so we are starting to see a little bit of sunshine, but overall skies are still mostly cloudy for now. It's 72 degrees here in Baton Rouge and winds are out of the south southwest at 18 miles per hour. It's 71 now in Denham Springs and Hammond, 68 in Woodville, and 71 in Gross Tape. Now here's a look at our wind speeds across the area. They're out of the southeast at 21 miles per hour now in New Roads, 10 miles per hour in Homa, and at 14 in Gonzales. Now again, our winds will be a little bit gusty for today. Wind gusts could be around 25 miles per hour. So again, today will be a warm and breezy day. We'll still be staying dry. We reached a high temp of 81 degrees on on Monday and we'll still pretty much be right at that temperature for today as well, especially as that warmer air continues to move in with that southerly wind flow. Highs will be around 81 for Baton Rouge, 80 for Plaquemine and also for Gonzales. Our overnight lows will be in the mid 60s going into Wednesday morning. And again, that warmer air will help us to have another mild morning as we start off our Wednesday, just like what we had for today. Now we do still have that cold front that will be moving through tomorrow. Now again, to have the cold front, we'll still be staying warm and a little breezy, but then northerly winds will move in behind the front and that will be that cooler and drier air, which will help our temperatures and dew points to go back down. So while it's starting to feel a little bit more humid between yesterday and today, we'll start to have a brief break from the higher humidity a little bit later this week. Now again, we'll be mostly dry with this cold front moving through, but we could have a couple of isolated showers passing through the area. But again, Wednesday, slight cool cool down with highs only in the mid to upper 70s as that cooler air begins to filter in and we'll still have mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. But then by Thursday, we'll have a mostly dry day, but our next round of showers will begin to move in by late Thursday night, continue overnight into your Friday morning, and we'll still have showers lasting on and off throughout the day on Friday. So we'll still have a solid frontal boundary that can continue rain chances for us for a few days. But here's a look at those high temps. So while we'll still be in the upper 70s to about 80 between today and tomorrow, Thursday Day, only reaching the mid 60s. Then it will begin to warm up again by Friday with highs near 70 and will be in the mid 70s over the weekend as warmer air continues to move back in, which will help us to warm up. So now looking at your seven day forecast. So again, temperatures a bit of a roller coaster ride once again, but once we get past Thursday, we'll have that gradual warm up and our highs will mainly be staying in the 70s from Friday through at least the early part of next week. But again, today will be a dry day, warm and breezy, but you'll need your umbrella again by the end of this week. Now